Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is going to be on this classic glam look here. It's a really classic eye with a really nice winged liner and a gorgeous red lip. It's perfect for any occasion. It's so simple, so easy and it's such a makeup staple. It's really glamorous so I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I will leave my really grungy smoky eye makeup look tutorial link in the description box down below along with my social media, my Instagram, don't forget to go check that out please and all the products I've used and anything you need to know, you know the drill. So enjoy this tutorial. So I'm going to start by primer on the face and I'm going to be using the Nivea for Men. I have moisturised, well I've cleansed, toned and moisturised before but I just like to put this on extra. It's like my favourite primer when I moved out. My dad gave me like three bottles, I was like cheers dad. So I'm taking double wear foundation, just put a little bit back on my hand and I'm just going to blob this around my face. I haven't used double wear in my videos in ages. So yes, I still do love it. The best foundation ever. Then I'm just taking a Real Technique sculpting brush just to blend this in and you know the drill with foundation. I just blend it in and then press where I need that extra coverage I just stick with a brush. I'm in the shade Desert Beige by the way in case you're wondering. Um, I have got a slight bit of talent, ever so slightly a tiny tiny amount. Um, I'm often cool beige, I think it is, or cool bone, but I've not got tan. So I'm just filling in my eyebrows really lightly using the Rimmel London eyebrow pencil. I want to keep my eyebrows really natural looking, I don't want them to go too full on sharpie mode. So I'm just taking my concealer, and this is collection one, last imperfection one in number one, fair. And I've just put a tiny, tiny amount underneath my brows, and I'm taking a round fluffy brush, this is the number 17 one. And I'm just going to blend it out and I'm just going to help neaten up the brows. So I'm just taking my contour shade that I'm going to be using later and this is MAC Harmony Blush and I'm just taking it on a Real Techniques angled shadow brush. So I'm just going to pop this through the crease. I'm going to blend it out in circular motions. can use a light warm brown eyeshadow. I just prefer to use uh, a bronzer really. Now I'm going to be taking my collection, oh I've gone dark, brighten up, brighten up. There we go. So now I'm going to be taking my Christmas in New York um, eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be taking a, this chocolate, chocolatey shade. It's just a cool brown shade. So don't worry if you have don't have this palette, just take whatever cool brown shade you have. You don't want it too dark either. So I'm just taking some of that eyeshadow on a Real Techniques, I think these are our base shadow brush and I'm just taking this for the crease. I don't want to take it too high up, I'm just in one wipe motion just putting it through the crease just to really help define it a little bit. So now for my eyeshadow primer I'm going to be taking the uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. I've got a little miniature one in my Christmas set with the Christmas in New York palette. So I'm just taking a tiny amount of that and I'm just going to press it all over the mobile lid. I really like this eyeshadow primer but I also love the Maybelline Colors 2 pots but I just thought I'd spice my products up a little bit. So now for the main colour on the eyelids, I want a goldy, sparkly, shimmery colour. I don't want it too gold, I don't want it too silver, I want it in between um, for a really classic, you know, shimmery look. So I'm going to be taking this colour here, it's called Ginger Doodle out of the same Christmas in New York palette. I'm taking this on a flat brush, you want to take it on a flat brush so you can pack it on. Becca Champagne Pop Highlight will do the trick if you have that. You no, know, lots of different eyeshadows. This is a Primox flat brush by the way, in case I forgot to say. I'm totally obsessed with Primox brushes. I you probably guessed because I use them all the time in all my videos. So I'm just going to be taking my angled shadow brush again with no extra product. I'm just wiping this through the crease. Just blending the two shades together so I don't have such a harsh cut crease. Take my foundation brush, wiping away any fallout. So now for eyeliner, I'm not going for a big, thick eyeliner. Um, I'm just going for a really small, thin, classic look. So I'm only using the eyeliner just to define the lash line. 
By the way, if you'd like me to see me do a how I do my eyeliner or like eyeliner for t winged eyeliner for beginners or something like that or a nice big thick eyeliner classic look, then do let me know in the comments and I will definitely do that for you. Because I know everyone does their eyeliner so different. So if you're struggling, perhaps you might prefer it how I do it, get some tips on how to do it. So I don't fully drag my line. Oh, this is the uh, L'Oreal Super Liner in Perfect Slim, by the way. I think I forgot to say. But I don't drag it super straight across. I do it in little small, like, dabbing motions. So when I get to the outer corner, I just want to, with my natural eyelash ends, as if I was going to drag it up from the bottom lashes, and just in a really small, thin flick. So for mascara, I'm taking the Maybelline Push Up Angel Mascara. Now this is the first time using this mascara. When I first brought it, I looked at the one and I was like, now how the hell is that supposed to put mascara onto my eyelashes? So, we'll see. Um, not sure. I think, when they, I think it's more for a natural day makeup look when you know you're not really putting any eye makeup on or any liner and you just want a little bit of mascara on, like an everyday. I think it's more for that. It's not, it's definitely lengthening but it's not very volumising. I definitely needed to curl my eyelashes before. It's making them very straight. But hey, I'm only putting a couple of layers of mascara on because I am going to put false lashes on. If you're not going to put false lashes on, then I suggest putting a couple of extra layers of mascara on. Right, so let's conceal my face, taking the collection Last and Affection one in one, just underneath my eyes. Then um, we're taking the Maybelline Fit Me one, just where I've got any blemishes. You've seen me use the same concealers and do it in the same way for a million times, but I'm just so loyal to them concealers. Once you, I think, feel like once you've found a really good concealer that you love, you just have to stay loyal to it. I've just taken a Real Techniques Damp Miracle Complexion Sponge, by the way, just to press that in. So now from earlier, I'm taking Max Harmony Blusher, and I'm just taking this on an angled um, fluffy brush from Prime On E. So I'm just going to use the tip of this just to help contour them cheekbones. So if you're like me and often find that when buffing a powdered product onto foundation that you've not set with powder yet, moves, then just use lighter motions. Cause I can often find it moves and once I've put my foundation where I want it, I'm gonna see the winter, I don't want it to move, but I do often find that it does move. So sometimes I stip all the powder brush as well. Take a little of that through the hairline taking a tiny bit underneath the jaw. Now for blusher, I'm taking my very beloved MAC uh, blush in Peachy Keen on a Real Techniques blush brush. So then I'm just putting this on the apples of my cheek and blending it out in circular motions. I feel like I haven't used Peachy Keen or Harmony in so long. I just saw them there sitting in my makeup drawer. I was like, oh, they'll be perfect. Then if you feel like you've gone a bit overboard, just take your foundation brush with no extra product and you can just work it over blend out the edges. So let's powder the face. I'm going to use the collection pressed powder in 18 ivory on a uh, Primark's round fluffy brush. I'm just going to dab that underneath the eye. I dab the powder first so I don't disturb any of the makeup. So I just pat it around my face then I blend it out. So for highlight, I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle. Just taking that down my nose a little bit and on my cupid's bow. Tiny bit on my chin, I love to be glowy. So then I'm taking Becca Champagne Pop. I'm just taking this on the tops of my cheekbones. Put a tiny bit underneath my brow bone. So now I've set my foundation, I'm going to go back in and put some bottom lash mascara on. Now for lashes, I just can't decide what to go for. More of the natural looking ones or more of a winged ones, just such a dilemma. I think I'm going to go for the natural, more natural looking ones. This could be a mistake, but hey ho. Um, just in case you're wondering, the 
these ones with more of a wing, the bit of a thicker ones are the Girls of Attitude ones and they are party animal. Really love these, really love these. I get these from Savers by the way, just in case you're wondering. So I just pinched the lashes into some tweezers and I've used the um, Duo glue. It's in a black colour so it helps hide the lash glue. Let the glue go a bit tacky, give it a wave. And I just want to pop these as close to the natural lash line as I can. So I'm going to go in with Maybelline Brow Drama Gel. Of course you see me use this in every single video. I cannot finish my makeup look without it. Now I do it at the end so I don't get any powder stuck in it and the eyebrows look that weird powdery minging look. So for lips, I want a really classic red look, so I'm going to take MAC Ruby Woo. Um, Rimmel London Kate Moss in 111, Kiss of Life, that's a really good red too. I'm going to take a Real Techniques um, detailer brush. I'm just going to use this to neaten that line up. And this is the finished makeup look. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. It's such a classic glam look and it's so easy as well, but it's so effective. Um, it looks great if you're here up in a nice low bun or high bun, you know, it's great for any occasion. If you really want to dress up or it's even lovely for work, or it's so great. Like it's just a classic staple glam makeup look. Please give this a video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have enjoyed this video because it really helps me out and I'd be so thankful. And then you never miss a video either, so it's a win-win situation here. I'll leave all my social media in the description box down below. Be sure to make sure you check out my Instagram. I'll leave all the products below as well. Also, I filmed a really smoky, grungy eye makeup look. So I'll leave that tutorial in the description box down below, along with some other recent video links as well. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.